In this video, we're going to be ranking every combat art from F to S. Now, this is going to be a worst to best slash tier list hybrid video. And so it's going to be worst to best combined with a ranking on each one. Just so you guys get the full picture on how good each one is. I'm also going to be going into a little bit of detail on each of these sensors. You know, not that many of them. And it's just like Q spec and M1s. I will be explaining them in a little bit more detail than I usually do since there's more time allotted to that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and subscribe to the video, guys. All right, so coming in 12th place is going to be boxing. Now, boxing here is going to be 12th place because this actually hurts you. This actively hurts you to use if you guys are unaware when you actually use the weapon spec on someone and they're not blocking there's actually more end lag than there is to the actual you know hit stun of the ability so if they're not blocking and you use this ability you will literally get comboed for using this q spec that's why this is going to be in the f tier just because i think boxing is literally worse than using nothing at all base combat is better than boxing boxing is literally so bad that the base combat system in this game is better than it i think that is absolutely insane to even think about and when it comes down to it the fact that there's so much end lag on the on the q spec if, if they remove the end lag it would just be mma but if they add if they kept the keep the end lag as it is it base combat's always going to be better so yeah I, it, I would avoid boxing if at all possible there's really nothing good about this than the fact that it actually block breaks and there are just you know block breaks that don't actively hurt you in this game pretty much almost every other block break in this game does that and this is not one of them you will get your booty cheek slapped together if you try to use this against someone just because people will understand that oh wait a minute see look 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 the end lag the end lag is more than the actual stun it's just this move is so terrible it's very hard to describe just how bad it is i'm sure you guys can literally see it just from looking now upcoming is going to be another one that is actually worse than base combat it's going to be muay thai now the reason for this is because the muay thai weapon spec overlaps some of the actual mode weapon specs and some weapons and some z specs now the reason why this is so important is because most of the time you actually end up using a muay thai weapon spec instead of using a mode weapon spec which obviously is significantly worse than the probably the mode q spec of the mode you're using so it's just it's a pretty big deal when you're actually using the wrong weapon spec and muay thai tends to overlap a lot of those and you're not getting anything good out of it because you know it doesn't it's not a very good combo extending move it isn't true after m1s uh the m1s aren't you know there isn't seven m1s like there used to be and stuff like that so muay thai is honestly just a worse base combat simply because the q spec overlaps mode specs and uh, because of this muay thai is going to be in d minus just because i feel like most of the time when you're using muay thai you would rather be using something like base combat instead just because it doesn't overlap your web spec and it's free so would you look at that now coming to 10th place is going to be base combat coming in at a d minus rank there's nothing really to this it's just a base combat doesn't overlap anything it's just you know it, there's not much to say about it it's base combat if you don't know what base combat is then you probably don't even play shindle life at all the actual weapon spec of it is just a heavy attack um it does block break you know normal block stronger block doesn't get block broken by it uh there's not much else to say other than the base combat it doesn't overlap anything it's overall just going to be your a neutral one coming at a d tier have you ever gotten 80 spin rarity and gotten something like just atomic well that's because you haven't hit the like button on this video yet if you hit the like button on this video you're guaranteed to get 10 million times luck 100 percent the coming in ninth place is going to be vanishing clone at a c plus rank now the only reason why it's going to be a ninth and not lower than this is because that first of all the m1s are bigger there are other bigger m1s so i don't feel like that's really a big you know a big thing most of the better combat arts in this game have larger m1s than you know vanishing vanishing clone but the reason why I'm actually going to be putting this here is because of the block break. It does block break, stronger block, and it is a ranged block breaker. All right, so I just told him to block here. So um, hopefully he does block. As you guys can see, he is blocking. The web spec does block break, stronger block. It also blocks specs, normal block. I, that's the only reason why it's going to rank this high on this list, and that's going to be a C plus rank. Otherwise, this would probably be solid D tier. Now coming in eighth place, it could be MMA. This is pretty much your bread and butter martial art right here. It's the most basic one. It's a M1 combo extending move. It is an instant, so you can't combo extend off of you know abilities alone now this is going to be in eighth place it's going to be b minus tier i feel like this is very you know solid martial art b tier is kind of going to be the average of this tier list and when it comes to mma it is probably the most average martial art you could think of instant combo extending move not much range attached to it not much damage on the you know the q spec m1s are just normal m1s yeah there's not much to say about it it's pretty much just a very average martial art it's a it's an extender but it doesn't really do anything special like some of the other ones are uh, you know either have lower cooldowns or they're easier to combo extend off of of overall they're just you know this one's just gonna be your very average martial art coming in at a b minus rank the company's seventh place is gonna be jeet kune do now this one is one that people tend to sleep on a lot so this is actually an instant extender it does extend off of normal m1s as you can see boom m1s and then it is since it is instant you can extend it's a ragdoll into an air combo now the reason why people sleep on this quite a bit is because air combos really are not that great in this game anymore just because they did nerf the air combos so they're not nearly as good as they used to be 
but I do actually think that G Kundo has more going on for it than people think. First of all, it is a fast move, so you can you could sometimes catch people off guard and get a free extender off of it. It also does a bit of damage. It also I do think it's better than MMA. There there are moves that are just there are true after air combos now. It, it's air combos are a lot easier to extend off of than it used to be. At, you know after the nerf, and I do think G Kundo is very slept on when it comes to a lot of the martial arts, just because it, you know it's an air combo. I do think it is very solid seventh at a B minus rank. When it comes in sixth place is going to be gravity art now gravity art there's not much to say about it the m1s do ragdoll but i do think the stun of the normal m1s is almost equal if not more than the ragdoll of it so the ragdoll is really there's nothing to say about it sometimes the ragdoll can actually mess you up so the ragdoll stun on the m1s is nothing it, it's just visual in my opinion it's just there to make it look cool now the thing the reason why gravity art is going to be this high on this list is because of the q spec is an auto tracking high damage ability that stacks only based on the amount of people there are so you can do up to like 180,000 damage with a single Q spec if you stack multiple people. Now, this is very important for Gravity Art because Gravity Art having a very good Q spec kind of saves it since, you know, a lot of the other ones have very basic Q specs that have nothing special about it. Gravity Art is one of the very rare, unique Q specs in the game. And I do feel like, you know, Gravity Art as it is, the Q spec is pretty good. I do see people use this from time to time. You, it is actually extendable and stuff like that since, the, you know, when they get knocked into an air, that is a type of stun. A knockback is a type of stun. So since because of all this, Gravity Art is going to be coming on a very solid B rank. Now, the newest martial art in the game, Lariat Fist. Now, Lariat Fist is the Thunder, aka the Shock Kendo. Now, the reason why this is going to be, you know, this is going to be in fifth and not higher on this list is because this is just a better MMA. Um, uh, In a lot of cases, actually, it might be, you know, you might actually prefer MMA. But the, first of all, I want to say this. The M1s do not stun cancel. I tested it with, you know, Shiver Chidori. Shiver Chidori into this doesn't stun cancel because the hit stun of the M1s overrides the stun cancel, so it doesn't matter. Now, the, the reason why this is a better MMA is because it actually does more damage on the Q spec. The Q spec is almost the exact same as MMA. It has a stun attached to it, but since it does more damage, you could do up to 80,000 damage in a single M1 combo Q spec M1 combo. Now, this just for this alone, it's going to be B plus rank. I do feel like the fact that it actually is an extender does make it quite good. The range is very limited, but if you actually have your cursor on them, the range can get further than MMA. So that's something you know to be. That's something to know about Lariat Fist. It's basically just a better MMA, and better MMA tends to you know rank one letter above, as you guys can tell from this list coming at a solid b plus rank now coming to fourth place it could be toad flame spirit at an a minus rank now this one a lot of people do not actually know this but they actually buff toad fist toad flame so that the the actual q spec has no end lag attached to it now this allows you to have a true m1 combo extender off of it it's basically in my mind it's a very good you know extending move because the q spec does have hit stun attached to it this is very very important to know because you could actually use this after abilities as well to extend your combos and do quite a bit of damage just because the actual weapon spec of of toad flame actually does quite a bit of damage when you combine the burn with the rest of it also the q spec burn does get extended by m1 so that's something to be uh, you know to acknowledge when it comes to toad flame now you guys may be thinking oh you know that's very good but that should be b plus rank there's nothing special about it well the fact of the reason why it's going to be a minus rank and not b plus rank is because the m1s do actually factor onto weapons it is one of the only martial arts that actually has a good you know side effect to weapons it has a burn effect it does a bit more damage it can mean the difference between winning or losing a duel that's why it's gonna be solid fourth place a minus rank now coming to third place as my personal most favorite martial art in the game is going to be hurricane fist coming at an a rank hurricane fist it, it, you know it's one of my guilty pleasures the m1s are very wonky to use so that's something to keep in mind while actually using this be, just because the m1s since they drag people in you have to move back when the m1 a lot of people forget this and then it'll drag it behind you and then you lose your m1 combo now it only does this for the first two m1s it doesn't do for the rest of them so you only have to move back for the first two now, the reason why this is actually so good in my mind is because I feel like the fact that it drags them in can actually be beneficial because if they're out of your M1 range, you could drag them into your M1 range. Now, the, the M1s, you know, it's okay. That's it. If it wasn't for the Q spec, this would probably be like C rank, but this Q spec, man, you guys know the broom when that was rampant in this game, the broom, this is just basically a better broom, not on any global cooldown. It's a martial art. So you don't need to, so you basically get buffed M ones attached to it. And the web spec is a travel move combined with a ragdoll extending move. It also does a lot of damage. If you manage to land, land all the moves, this one is actually one of my personal favorites. It's going to be a rank. Now I I'm not going to be biased on this list. Otherwise it would probably be first rank just because I love hurricane fist so much. I do think it's a very, very, 
very cool martial art it's very unique as well sharing you know the q spec is only shared with something like broom it also is a very good traveling move it's good for getting away or you know initiating fights and stuff like that overall pretty solid you know martial art when it comes to the q spec now this one may surprise you guys if you guys do not know this pose coming in second place at an s minus is going to be water dragon fist now water dragon fist you guys may be thinking oh why is this an s minus rank you know the m1s they slow people down that's not that good right well that's not the reason why this is now a ranged water prison stun look how long the stun duration is it is almost two seconds place lock stun not on a global cooldown ranged and auto tracking that is absolutely absurd i you know i do think that this this you know q spec overall not even just the martial art it's going to be the q spec this q spec is going to take over you know duels in general just because you know it is a true extender you can throw it into your combos and since it's a place lock stun it just makes it even better i would like i like to view this as being you know it's basically the water water prison but ranged and on a weapon spec not on the stun global cooldown it's absolutely ridiculous it is very you know nuts to use in pvp in general it's especially if you throw it into a move set that already has a bunch of stuns it's basically just a free stun move if you manage to land this on someone and they're not expecting it because it, the move does actually move quite fast it basically will be a free combo for you plus it's a two second stun like this is absolutely insane i do think s minus rank is very solid for water dragon fist this buff makes it absolutely nuts by the way guys what is your favorite combat art in shindalai if you're free to comments below we'll be checking them out now coming in first place as an absolute surprise to nobody an s plus rank is going to be jokai fist now first of all Jokai Fist is the only, you know, M1, the only uh, martial art that allows you to extend off of one or two hand sign moves. The other ones have, you know, a little bit of end lag attached to the last of M1s, and it doesn't allow you to actually use moves that are one or two hand signs. But that that's the only reason why Jokai Fist is going to be S plus rank. Now, a lot of people seem to like this weapon spec. I'm not a big fan of it. I know that the weapon spec does a lot of damage. So if you use a weapon spec on someone, it does do a lot of damage. It's a high damage weapon spec, and it does have an iframe attached to it, but it has so much end lag that if you miss this move, you are getting comboed 100 that's the only reason why i don't really like the q spec i actually only stick to using the m1s of jokai fist in general now in case you guys don't know what i'm talking about here i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys full m1 combo and then i'm gonna actually use the first ability of shindai lightning now shindai lightning is an instant ability so you can use this with any other one as well but as you guys can see so that is a true m1 combo center he's about to use his q spec boom that's his gap right there so now i'm gonna use a move that has one or two hand signs and i'll show you guys the difference all right so here's me using, me using gura Ren Goku. Full M1 combo right here, right? So the Q spec, he he can use he can use the Q spec before I actually do this. I he's gonna he's gonna do it again. All right, so I'm gonna do a full M1 combo to him. And then I'm going to Q spec. As you guys can see, there is enough of a gap for him to use that now. But I'm going to switch over to Jokai Fist and do the same exact thing, and there will be no gap. Now, this is actually the reason why Jokai Fist is just such a strong fighting style. Uh, they were they it was I think this was they you know this was a hidden change where they didn't allow you to extend combos off of M1s anymore. You know it, it, unless the abilities were instant. But Jokai Fist still remains the ability to do that. Maybe they missed it or something. Like as you guys can see, boom, there is just small enough of end lag that you can use a two hand sign ability now this is very important this is the reason why jokai fist is going to rank so high above the other ones at an s solid s plus rank anyways guys actually before this video because you enjoyed this video make like subscribe host you guys bye bye